and welcome to For The Drive and today's episode of Friends of For The Drive I'm taking a look at my first Porsche 911. What we have here is a 996 Carrera 4S with a 3.6 flat 6, uh, producing about 320 brake horsepower, which will get you to 0 to 62 in about five seconds. And uh, although the modern 911s will absolutely destroy that figure of 0 to 62, I have got major high hopes for the experience because every Cayman, every Porsche I've been in so far has blown me away. So I've got uh, great expectations for this beautiful little car. So let's take it for a spin. started looking for a say a weekend car or something to do at the weekends and I've always liked a split camper yeah so looking at those I was thinking okay the kind of prices we were looking at the 20 to 25 grand once you get a nice splitty for that kind of money yeah yeah and we were like me and my wife that is we were like okay we're into our sports cars is there anything else potentially out there and I've always liked Porsche um, we kind of had a look around, um, looked at quite a few, I was looking for about six months before we actually purchased this one. Yeah. Uh, my wife phoned me up, um, said that she had seen a nice looking silver one. I didn't really want silver because they were quite boring, I've got to say. But when I turned up, she said, oh, it's got a lovely kit on. When I turned up on it, I was sold. Yeah. What specifically do you love about owning? Drivability of it. Um, it's, it's, as I say, you can use it every day. Um, we don't use it every day, it's more of a weekend car for us, but we do go out on it now and again in the evenings and everything else. It's the speed of it. Um, it's only a 911 in the day. Yeah. Be a 911, but it's a 911. And uh, it's me and our two actually. If they go to all the shows I can go to, obviously, we're both members of the Four Marks Club. Yeah. Um, so we go to all the shows and do these convoys and all these events, which is quite nice to integrate with other like-minded people. Yeah, yeah. Sold on it. I'm sold on this the 911. How it handles. I'm very happy. Uh, other than the only difference, I would like to go to a turbo. Okay. Which has a little bit more speed, which is about second. Yeah, potentially between half a second and second. Um, I just love the turbos. I love the intakes on the rear wings. Yes, they're really cool. Uh, on the rear quarters, which is 
it, it makes it makes a hell of a lot of difference. But uh, the, the the look of it, but, but um, other than the power wise, but the same. We go back twenty years, whereas you know, it's, it's it's like weird it's like five seconds isn't too slow. I know. Oh no no no. no, no. <laughs> on there currently are I think it's the mufflers actually have got uh, separate mufflers on sports mufflers okay uh, but other than that it is completely standard and that's how you you want to keep it as this you know, yeah I think for the, for the time being I don't think I could do much with it. you can't do much modification well, you, I don't think you get much power improvements out of the 3.6 version okay um, other than supercharging but then, turbos, comes, but then again, you might as well. Yeah, but you might as well buy a turbo. Yeah. You know, okay. um, I'd say that I've seen a lot of modifications for about four and a half thousand. You can put a supercharger in it, which will give you about an extra 100 and, 110 brake potentially. Wow. Um, some of these are the units that the Americans have been doing um, can be shipped over, but I'd say it's not a cheap thing to do. No. You might as well potentially go out and buy an actual turbo version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you, you say you've had it for three years. Three years now, yep. yep. If you said, now this has got to go, what would you replace it with? Um, so, I keep on looking at the turbos. Whether that be a 996 or potentially a 997, I do like the 997. Um, so, whether that be, as I say, uh, the late version 3.8, a little bit quicker, bigger wheels, yeah. a bit more sportier. Yeah, that's true. That could be one in the future. Very nice. I watch this one. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Right, do you want to have a little switch over oh, and a play? I would like to, yes please. Not often I sit in this seat. <laughs> I'd say the, the dash system on the Porsche I've always, I've always like, and the fact that that kind of hasn't changed, it's obviously just got more modern. Yeah. The fact that the most important part of it is the revs. The speed is secondary. But I like the fact that it's digital. Actually, I wasn't expecting that you have a digital readout. I thought that they wouldn't bring that in until yeah. a later model. The steering wheel is just giving me it just feel, it's like a great, good size. You're getting good feedback. It does feel very nice to be back behind the wheel of a Porsche again. That's why it makes an everyday car as well. Yeah, because you can poodle around it, it's easy to drive, you haven't got any offsets or anything else. No, no, no. And look, one thing that I did say to myself that if I did get, I was going to go for a Porsche, although I will test drive a PDK just in case that someone said, you yeah. know, I get proven wrong, but every manual gearbox I've driven in a 911, oh, sorry, a Porsche, yeah. has been so good that I'm just like, why would I go for an auto? Well, that was one, that when we were looking, we, so we went out to look at lots of different ones, and the wife preferred the Chick Tronic. Oh, really? And What, for her driving it? Or just, yeah. Oh, okay. She just preferred it, and I went out, and I just came back and thought, I don't get any feel from it. I've always been a stick man, obviously, um, other than the bloke, the BMW. have always been like, yeah, yeah, exactly, and you feel more in touch with the car. And I, let's say, I took this Tiptronic out, lovely car, but I just did not get the feel from it. And I was just like, okay, it's, it's, they're, they're quicker because it's Tiptronic and you can see it's around the gears, like, there's a slight, certain lag or whatever else, but you just didn't get that feel. No. <laughs> Seem, because it's so effortless, it just feels like it's egging you on. 
yeah. you don't ever feel at the moment obviously definitely not with you know first experience and kind of not wanting to do any sort of damage um, but it just immediately you just get this thing like oh, well you know we're near like 80 percent oh, well thank you very much this You're has welcome. been so much fun and now say i've driven a 911 and absolutely love it just got to get yourself back into a Porsche. i do yes <laughs> So that is the end of the video. My God, what a beautiful car it is and how easy and how good it is to drive. Uh, we get to see it roll off. Cheers, buddy. Just look at it. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Definitely uh, a big smile maker for me. I mean, first ever 911 experience and what a treat. So a huge thank you for Chris for coming out and uh, letting me drive his 996 Carrera 4S. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I did driving it. Uh, but that is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and see you guys later.